In this particular program, I am going to show you how to write a C program to calculate the area of a circle given the radius. The area of a circle is given by the formula pi r square. We are not going to ask the user to enter the value of pi. Pi is a constant which we will take an approximate value because it's a never ending or a never accurate constant. So what we will do is we'll define pi as using the hash defined pi as I'll say pi is 3.142. So this hash defined is known as a symbolic constant definition. That means pi is a symbolic constant. Wherever pi is going to occur in your program, it's going to be replaced with 3.142. So what I'm going to do is the radius and area can both be real numbers. So I'm going to say float radius. And on the next line, I am again going to say float area. Since this is a small program, I have type the variables on two different lines i may not be able to follow this particular practice every time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask the user enter the radius all right so the user is going to enter the radius once the user enters the radius what i am required to do is i am required to read the radius into a variable okay of the type float be careful of what type you use here don't declare a variable type float and then try to read into a normal integer so i am reading into address of radius all right so once i read into the radius i am ready to calculate the area area is simply pi into radius into into radius and then last step i am going to say printf area of a circle is up to accurate up to six decimal places 6.2 f okay i'm going to print the area all right a few things you have to learn in this program give meaningful variable names don't give x y a b you will not know what is area what is radius all right now what is going to happen here is since i have declared pi using the hash defined this pi by the preprocessor is going to be replaced with 3.142. So it is 3.142 into radius into radius. Suppose I enter radius as 10, so it should be 10 into 10, 100, 100 into 3.142 should be approximately 314.2. So that should be a sample data for me to try out and run. Quite simple, okay, just shown you how proper indentation by giving proper spacing can make the program extremely readable and easy to understand. The beauty of not writing comments is if your code gives meaningful variable names, all right, and if it is well indented, that's the trick to giving minimum number of comments to your code. A very badly written code will require more number of comments. If a code is written properly, it requires very little or almost no comments. Let's try to run this particular thing and see what happens. So it's compiling. That's the good news. Let's see what it does. It's asking her to enter, enter the radius. Let's say I enter the radius as 10. So my expected answer was 314.2. So 314.2, that's what we are trying to get here. So the area of the circle is 314.20 accurate up to two decimal places.